When was the last battle of the Indian Wars? Well, most of the fighting between the Native Americans and the government ended with the surrender of Chiricahua Apache Geronimo and his band of 24 warriors, women, and children in 1886. There were a few smaller fights that lasted until the big final one. Up in northern Arizona on Navajo land, a band of Navajos that went to war with the local cattlemen over the use of the land north of Flagstaff around Padre Canyon. Mostly non-violent acts with both sides stealing each other's cattle and miscellaneous things. But on November 11th, 1899, it got real ugly. It all started a few days earlier when a group of Navajos accused a cowboy who was working for one of the ranchers of stealing several of their horses. They beat the old cowboy up pretty good and then turned him loose. Well, that cowboy, he went into Flagstaff and told the deputy sheriff about the incident. Well, that deputy sheriff issued warrants for the rest of the Navajos who beat up the cowboy and he, and he went searching for them with a few of his men along with that cowboy. They found the band of Navajos around the junction of Canyon Diablo and Padre Canyon. Guns went to blazing, and when the smoke cleared, the cowboy and two of the Navajos lay dead. At least one Navajo was wounded, along with the deputy and one of his men. And that there was what we consider to be the last of the Indian Wars with the government. Thank you for listening to another true story of the Old West. Please hit that like and subscribe button for more stories on the Old West.